formal, and I have three fantastic authors with me on stage. I can't wait to introduce them. Uh, they are, starting here on my right, your left, Cami Garcia. Cami <laughs> Garcia is the New York Times best-selling co-author of the young adult novel Beautiful Creatures, and the sequel to Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, will be released this year on October 26th. And give us a little introduction, if she would like to, of her passage, and then read for just a little bit so you can get a feel for what each of them write. Okay, can everyone hear me? Yes. Um, Mine's a little tricky because in our novel, Ethan and Lena, the main characters, can actually hear one another's thoughts, which is called Kelting in the book. So it's hard to kind of convey that when you're reading. In the book, it's always italicized, so it's easier to pick out. But I'm hoping that you'll be able to kind of tell by my inflection or lack of inflection. <laughs> we'll see. And um, mine is about... The Kelting in our book kind of uh, serves the purpose of allowing them to express thoughts that they wouldn't otherwise feel comfortable saying out loud. So it's things that they wouldn't want to say, but that they're able to say without saying. Okay. I've never been to a school dance before. Lena looked down at her tray and picked at her sandwich. She looked almost disappointed. I hadn't asked her to the dance. It hadn't occurred to me that she'd want to go. So much was going on between us, and every part of it was so much bigger than a school dance. Link shot me a look. He had warned me this would happen. Every girl wants to be asked to a dance, man. I have no idea why, but I know that much. Who knew Link might actually be right, considering his Coach Cross master plan had never panned out? Link drained the rest of his coat. A pretty girl like you, you should be the Snow Queen. Lena tried to smile, but wasn't even close. So what's with the whole Snow Queen thing? You don't just have a homecoming queen like everybody else? No, this is the winter formal, so it's the ice queen, but Savannah Snow's cousin, Suzanne, won every year, and then when she graduated, Savannah won last year, so everyone just calls it the snow queen. Link reached over and grabbed a, a slice of pizza from my plate. It was pretty obvious Lena wanted to be asked. Another mysterious thing about girls, they want to be asked to stuff that they don't even want to go to. But I had a feeling that wasn't the case with Lena. It was almost like she had a list of all the things she imagined a regular girl was supposed to do in high school, and she was determined to do them. It was crazy. The formal was the last place I wanted to go right now. We weren't the most popular people at Jackson High lately. I didn't mind that everybody stared at us when we walked down the hall, even when we weren't even holding hands. I didn't mind that people were probably saying things right now, cruel things, while the three of us sat here alone at the only empty lunch table in the crowded lunchroom, or that a whole club full of Jackson Angels was patrolling the halls just waiting for us to screw up. But the thing is, before Lena, I would have cared. I was just starting to wonder myself, I mean, if maybe I was under some kind of spell. I don't do that. I didn't say you did, you just did. I didn't say you'd cast a spell, I just said maybe I was under one. You think I'm Ridley? I think, forget it. Lena searched my face even more intently like she was trying to read it. Maybe she could do that too now for all I knew. What? The thing you said the morning after Halloween in our room, in your room, did you mean it, Elle? What thing? The writing on the wall. What wall? The wall in your bedroom. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You said you were feeling the same way I was. She started fidgeting with her necklace. I don't know what you're talking about. Falling. Falling? Falling, you know. What? Never mind. Say it, Ethan. I just did. Look at me. I'm looking right at you. I looked down into my chocolate milk. Get it, Savannah Snow, ice queen. Link dumped vanilla ice cream on top of his french fries. Lena caught my eye blushing. She reached her hand under the table. I took it in mine, then almost yanked it away. The shock of her touch was so strong. It really was like sticking my hand in a wall socket. The way she looked at me, even if I couldn't hear what she was thinking, I would have known. If you have something to say, Ethan, just say it. Yeah, that. Say it. But we didn't need to say it. We were all by ourselves in the middle of the crowded lunchroom, in the middle of a conversation with Link. Between the two of us, we had no idea what Link was even talking about anymore. If you're just joining us now...